This witty and engaging tale is seamlessly accompanied by illustrations that are deceptively simple. Their spontaneity underpinned by a keen eye and fine sensibility. The likeable and down-to-earth character of Noko the Porcupine is hilariously offset by the spoilt and egotistical Cool Cats, preoccupied by their celebrity status, their cell phones, the state of their nails and their omnipresent shades, only removed when it becomes too dark to see. To their credit though, the Cool Cats do recognize talent when they see it. Reluctant at first, they are gradually won over by the music and good fellowship provided by Noko and his homespun band, so vibrantly embodying the spirit of Ubuntu. The generous scale of this book contributes a great deal to its appeal. Spreads of gentle, wide open spaces are interspersed with expressive close-ups of the disgruntled cool cats and of their over-the-top truck looking wondrously brash in the rural setting. The clouds of dust that raises can best be described as an artistic tour de force. The eminently satisfying conclusion perhaps echoes the author's own artistic journey. From the early impressions made by a farm childhood in South Africa to an apprenticeship in the European tradition and finally a return to indigenous themes bringing along all the richness of experience that the journey entailed. Noko and the Cool Cats is a notable contribution to picture books that celebrate our home in Africa and a worthy winner of the 2015 MER Prize for Illustrated Children's Books.